The president's plan is going to have a big impact on military communities all across North Carolina. One of the largest, of course, is Fayetteville, surrounding Fort Bragg. That's where Gilbert Bays joins us live tonight with reaction from our local soldiers. Gilbert? That's right, Steve. You know, I'm inside the uh, state's Veterans Park, and these hands right here represent veterans from across the state, from every county. Now, many of the veterans with whom I spoke today say that they're proud of their service, and they particularly like their military benefits, and they hope that's something that the president does not take away. Make no mistake about it, Fayetteville is a military town and proud of it. You can see it with the red, white, and blue just about everywhere. And you can feel it when you talk with the folks who wear the uniform. Staff Sergeant James Parker is about to retire next year after 20 years' service. He's looking forward to his retirement benefits. Well, that's pretty pretty much uh, why I came in the Army. I mean, wife and two kids is an E-1, you know, so it, uh, that was uh, probably the only reason I did come in. Parker is not alone in that thinking. He's been deployed four times and is home for two weeks from pulling duty in Afghanistan. Service members say they volunteer to put their lives on the line, be separated from their families for extended periods, and live in terrible conditions in defense of the nation. Being in Afghanistan, right, I'm really a really small location. Uh, it's uh, austere conditions, definitely. Uh, you know, I get a shower about every two days, maybe three, you know, most, most times, so... Uh, there's not a lot of people out there that are going to do that. Soldiers say being rewarded with a nice benefits package is a small price for America to pay. Unless you're a soldier like PFC Russell Cunningham. He's shipping out to Afghanistan tomorrow. His service is a family tradition. I'm here doing my part, and they pay us less. They don't pay us like they were going to do a couple of years ago. And about four or seven years back, they said, oh, I have to put a hold on your paycheck. Show up. They feed you. Yeah, another day. Just another day, and I'm sure the president would love to have two or three divisions of soldiers like that private who's shipping out tomorrow. But the reality is the benefits package is very attractive, and it is expected. And many of the older soldiers and retirees with whom I spoke today hope that they'll be grandfathered so that they don't lose the benefits that they have or have been promised. Reporting live here in downtown Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Gilbert, thanks.